Ahmed, one of the team members here at Ginger 6. Just a short video on how to set up your PC for the first time. We'll be covering things like unboxing, uh, setting up monitors, keyboards and mouse, and um, powering up the PC for the first time. So you've just received your PC from Ginger 6. Now it's time to take it out of the box. First of all, you'll see this is the bottom of the PC and this is the top. Now you want to rotate it around so the top is now facing on the bottom of the table. So you then remove the polystyrene and unwrap the back. And then carefully flip it round so that now the bottom of the PC is on the table. And again, remove the polystyrene and the protective bag. You can now at this point visually inspect the PC, uh, make sure there's no scratches, no dents, any damage that may have occurred in transit. Again, while you're flipping the PC over, and if, even if you've got a window like this PC has here, just have a general uh, inspection, make sure anything hasn't come loose in transit, because turning the PC on at this point could cause uh, more damage. Now we've got it unboxed, we're just going to go through the back panel and see what we've got to uh, plug in. This is um, a standard VGA cable, comes with most monitors. Um, it's blue in colour, which matches um, the port on the back of the PC. Um, this will plug in here. If you've got a dedicated graphics card like I have here, you'll need to plug your monitor cable into the dedicated graphics card rather than the onboard that we saw earlier. This is simply because the onboard graphics are disabled once you've got graphics cards installed. A lot of the onboard graphics will have a DVI socket rather than the VGA. Um, this is uh, a slightly more advanced um, socket um, and that, that's why they tend to use them. Um, to do that you may need to have a converter. Um, this is standard VGA to DVI converter. This simply plugs onto the bottom of your uh, VGA cable and then into the back of the graphics card. If you have a USB keyboard and mouse, these just simply plug in to the USB ports on the back. If you have a slightly older version keyboard and mouse, which still uses the PS2 um, adapter, then that simply plugs into the PS2 adapters on the back. Um, these are colour coded um, and will match what uh, is on the keyboard and mouse. If you have speakers or uh, microphones that you want to use with the PC, um, these are normally all colour coded and they simply match the um, colour coded sockets on the back of the PC. So now we've got everything connected, the final thing is obviously the power lead. The best way to connect it is have it unplugged from the wall uh, and the switch on the back of the power supply uh, on the zero. And then simply Plug it in like so, uh, turn the switch on, turn the switch on at the wall and you're ready to go. So now we've got that set up, um, the only thing to do now is simply turn it on at the front and away you go. If for some reason you can't get any signal to the monitor, maybe the monitor is displaying uh, no signal received, the first thing to check is that have you got um, a dedicated graphics card? If so, make sure it is plugged into the graphics card rather than the onboard. This is a common mistake, um, but it can save a lot of aggro later. If you aren't getting any power to the PC, again, one of the simple things to check first is have you got it plugged on at the wall and have you got it switched on at the back of the PC first. That's our video on uh, setting up your PC for the first time. If you think you need any more guidance or help with setting up your PC, don't hesitate to contact us.